First thing, Monday morning, John Kelly sworn in as President Trump's brand new chief of staff. He's a general in an administration that's already leaning heavily on the military. He's the White House gatekeeper. He decides who gets to see the president. More important than that, he's the new enforcer. He's the guy who tells all members of the administration to shape up and get on with the president's agenda. By any measure, the president needs John Kelly. Chaotic infighting at the White House has not been helpful to the growth agenda. The president's tweets have not always helped either. When you want to do great things, you better speak with one voice. So in comes the general to impose some discipline. Good. He's the man for the job. He oversaw Gitmo. He has battlefield experience, which should come in handy in his new job. And he understands sacrifice. He lost a son in Afghanistan. And here are the unknowns. How will the politicians, that's Congress, respond to a military guy who is used to giving orders, not fine-tuning relationships? And will the president listen to him? No answers yet to those questions. But after six months of chaos and little achievement, it's time for a new approach, a fresh start. And that's General, General John Kelly, Chief of Staff.